Happy New Year, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday, the uh, 4th of January, 2017, and I'm back with Dad, and I actually um, had some some news for you. Um, ran into someone that uh, that I say hello to every time I come in here, and um, he said, how you doing? And, and I said, uh, well, you know, Dad, he's, he's, uh, he's been reduced to like one word answers. He says yes a lot. Um, I received a call today while I was sitting on his on the edge of his bed. He kind of listened to the um, conversation and he said good and yes and no and I asked him um, I asked him, Dad, are you happy? And he said, yes. I said, Dad, um, are you sad? He said, no. So, he just, he's, he's now kind of reduced to one or two word sentences, unfortunately, but he seems to be, um, he seems to still be very affecting a lot of the people that are working around him. You know, the people that are here, the caregivers, they're poking at him, they're, they're dressing him and feeding him and, and saying, do this and do that. And then when a family member comes in, it's really kind of nice for him because, um, because we're family, you know, we're family, or I'm family. And um, so this, this young man, uh, his name's Jose, um, I, inter I introduced myself to him today. I've seen him here ever since Dad's been here for like the last six months. And I finally introduced myself to him, and, and, um, and you know, small talk, whatnot. And, um, and I told him about these videos, and he said, wow, that's really great what you're doing. Um, and I mentioned to him the reason why I was doing the videos was to raise awareness and to bring, if you have a father that's or a parent that's do, that's in a, one of these facilities or has Alzheimer's or dementia, the key is is to be a be a presence in their life and to and to go and visit them and as much as possible, and to have a family member there if you have adult uh, grandkids. Uh, it, this may not be appropriate for a ten year old, seeing their ailing parent, uh, you know, in a in a bed twenty four seven, but but maybe for someone who's 18, 18 years old or above, because, uh, you know, let's say, um, you know, one of us is in this position in, you know, when we're 80, 85 years old, you know, well, you want to, you want to show your kids, uh, that, Hey, this is what you just, what you're supposed to do when you're, when your ailing parents become like this. So, so anyway, there's, so this kid, Jose, not kid, but maybe 30 year old, anybody under 40 is a kid to me now, but, he says, "Well, you know what I do here." As I proceeded to tell him what what I what you know why I did the why I'm doing these videos, and he and I said, "What?" And he says, "Well, I'm in charge of uh, entertainment for the facility." And I said, "Really? I didn't even know they had entertainment here." So uh, so he says, "Well, we go around and we um, and for the for the parents for the patients that don't have a lot of visitors, we we uh, go in and we visit them and we act like." We act like they're family, and I said that's a great idea. You know, if you're if you're an entrepreneurial out there, and you, you know, that's a great idea is to is to um, act like um, act like you're the family the family of the for the kids that never never visit their parents. And there's uh, let me tell you, there's a lot of them. There's the the get the uh, visitation list is about uh, ten people a day here, and there's about two hundred people here. I'd love to see some type of situation where. More, where maybe if we can't have the family members come visit them, we could hire actors to come do like stand-in work or something. But um, but anyway, um, that's my two cents today. Um, make it a wonderful uh, new year, and uh, thanks for listening. And all the best to you. And God bless you, and God bless uh, my, my dad here. All the best.